going on everyone welcome rabbit here and today i'm going to show you guys how to mine cubic to the cubic solutions pool so unlike my other how to mine video that was to the li pool this is a totally different pool and each pool has their own miners and setups to connect to their pool so this will be different from the previous video another thing to keep in mind this is for cpus only gpus do not work on the cubic solutions pool but you do see the increased hash rates on cubic solutions fairly early compared to li whether it actually does something that's yet to be tested and determined but this is how you mine to cubic solutions so just like the other video i will have all links down in the description i'll go through the windows process as well as the hive os process so you're going to need a wallet first most of you probably have it already have it if you don't be sure to check that link down there but this is pretty much your wallet in this case you are actually going to be using your wallet address to mine to unlike a token like the li pool all right so first up in windows you're going to head on over the github here and you can see multiple versions of the miner so pick the architecture on your cpu my workstation here in windows is a ryzen 9 7950x so i'm going to be using zen version 4 which is am5 so simply click on the exe here and download it so once you have it downloaded you will see something like this now off the get-go it's not going to work we double click on it nothing happens because it doesn't have any instructions to run that miner so what i did was create a new folder as you can see here rq miner i copied this and put it in this folder and then i created a bat file by making a bat file all you got to do is simply go to notepad here you know just type in notepad in the bottom corner here bring up notepad and then you're going to have to paste some stuff into here i will have all this down below so you can just simply copy and paste it over now one thing to keep in mind here let's just close this out i'm going to bring up my bat file here and you can see you're going to have to have this name exactly the same as the minor version you're running because it wants to run or you're telling it to run this file here so that's why i would just recommend to go like this simply go over it right click copy that name that way when you're in your bat file you can just paste it in like so remove that paste it in now you can see dot exe it is telling this file to run so now is your parameters that your the instructions i guess that you're telling this thing to run by so it, dash t here this is 30 threads so i'm telling it to run 30 threads and then you have a dash i this is your wallet address right here now as you can see unlike other miners there is no pool address to set in here that's because this pool has it baked into the miner itself so it's telling it to mine to the cubic solutions pool because it was designed for the cubic solutions pool so once you get that in there make sure you do save it now if you're a default um i guess bat file here or default notepad you're going to want to go to save as or save as you first would go to all files and then simply behind it put dot bat as your file name if you just save it normally it's going to be a text file and it won't run it so make sure you do go to all files and put dot bat behind it you can name it anything you want so that you know what it is in my case i just put it as minor and it's going to run so once i close this out here no i don't want to save anything because i didn't make any changes I'll just bring it up so you can see exactly what it looks like again here. We got the name of the miner. We got the thread count that we're going to use and then our wallet address. So we're going to close that out and simply double click on the miner. And you can see right here it is connecting to the pool and it's beginning to mine. And we can see we're currently doing about 127.5 ITs per second on the 7950X. We are on Epoch 102 right now. And then when I come look at the pool dashboard, I simply put my wallet address in the top. Now, this is new. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if we're allowed to use this or not this is what i will be linking so you can watch it it used to just be a code in the corner and kind of told you solutions that you had not really any information but now we can see my rig is detected it's telling me how many hashes i'm doing and how many solutions i have found so far i have one device currently active so this is the little dashboard that you would get on cubic solutions all right so for hive os you're going to have to add your wallet into here so we're going to go into wallets then wait for that to come up we'll go to add wallet and then we're going to type cubic in the ticker and we can see cubic is here by default paste your wallet address that you do have from the web wallet into here and then name this whatever you would like web wallet or whatever it doesn't matter and then hit that create button then cancel that out next we're going to go into the flight sheet so once we have all that set up we're going to come into the coin put in cubic here 
right there wallet we're going to go web wallet that's what mine is called the pool we're going to configure this in the miner and this we're just going to call solutions pool or q soul we're just going to go q soul that way i know this is the cubic solutions pool here we're going to miner and we're going to have to use that custom miner so we're going to click on that and then set up miner config so now we're going to need an install url that's quite simple courtesy of viper labs and itopi there he's been putting the hive os version together for everybody so all you got to do is simply come into this here again link in the description so you can stay up to date on all the latest minor versions they do release new miners every epoch and sometimes in between so right here you can see the latest one is 0.3-15-1 tar.gz six hours ago so you're going to right click on this and copy link address so once you get that done you're going to come into here and simply put this in the install url like so so now you can see our q miner x86 so next up we're going to need our wallet and worker name we're going to put this in right here but get rid of the wallet part so we're going to have worker name into here but most of it's all going to be in the extra config arguments anyway as you can see up here we're running x86 as the default we got to tell it what minor version everything to use in the first place so i'm going to write it all into here and then we'll kind of come back so you guys can see exactly what it is all right so here is the commands i will have this down in the description for you guys just to copy it over but keep in mind change your wallet address i'll change it say like put wallet address here or something but you also must have something in for the pool so make sure you go to pool url and paste the exact same thing in there because if you don't have anything here you will run into issues so this is what we're going to have here now you can see my threads here are blank and this is your wallet address dash i i'm going to be doing the individual thread tweaking in the tuning process for this so i'll show you what i mean by that when i get into it as i know i have mixed rigs 3900x's 3950 7950 x3d's and so on Different CPUs require different tuning. So I'll show you how to set that up after. But once you've done all this, quickly go to the apply changes here and create that flight sheet. Everything should be good to go. Flight sheet successful. Now we're going to load it up into a rig. So I'm picking a worker to play around with. As you can see, I'm currently on LI with about 62 hashes. I'm going to go into my flight sheet here and now I'm going to choose that miner. So QSOL right here. I'm just going to simply send that to the moon and now it'll begin mining on that. That new flight sheet we just made to cubic solutions so i ssh into the rig and now you can see there's no threads or anything set this is actually running my current tuning process here so now we're going to go to the tuning thing here and actually tune the cpu for the cubic solution pool and that's a simple process we're going to go back into our rig and click on this little tuning button right here so this tuning process does overwrite everything so every custom miner will be using this and the exact same thing for other miners to use in this case we know we're just dealing with cubic here so i'm going to have to change everything to our current miner so i'm adjusting all of these parameters right here to the ones we put in in our extra config in the previous flight sheet setup so now i'm actually going to set my threads to about 24 for this one and then i'm going to remove this command right here actually i'm not 100 percent sure what that one does let me know in the comment section what that does i'm a linux noob but when you run that it always runs 24 threads so right now we can see we're at 24 threads i'm actually going to actually i'm going to leave it at 24 and just apply changes so you can see what this does do so we're going to go back into my ssh here it should be running yeah it's running updating public key doing its thing it'll reset here in a quick second once it's done so we're just waiting to hold out so there we go miner now you can see right now spawning 24 mining threads so i'm going to come into here and i'm going to adjust this back down wherever it is right here I'm going to put this down to 15 threads just so you can see that it is changing every time you change this and remember it's only changing this on this one cpu that's why you go through each rig individually and set it manually that way you don't have to make a whole bunch of multiple flight sheets or anything you do each tuning for each individual cpu so now we're coming back into this let's go to the miner here we can see spawning 15 mining threads so that's how you would adjust the mining threads between depending on the cpu and stuff that you do have for individual tweaking now another thing we got to do is if you remember it was saying uh x86 when we first set up that flight sheet here in the miner name we actually have to tell it what miner we want based on the architecture of the cpu so you're just going to go dash arch space and then zn ver2 so you can see zn version 2 so this is zen 2 based on this we can go and use a reference here 
ZN version 2, ZN version 3, depending if you're on 3000. 3000 series is version 2, 5000 is version 3, and 7000 series is version 4. So we're going to adjust this a little bit here by going Arch ZN version 2, and then we're just going to apply this, and it should switch the minor over to the proper architecture. And again, something you got to do for each individual CPU in this tuning process. So if we come back into here, we should be able to start seeing increased hash rate as you can see it's starting off at 67 now when we were sitting you know just over 50 or something before so architecture does matter as well depending on the cpu you're using now you can see we're almost at 70 it's per second when we we're at 58 59 maybe 60 when we we're on the li pool and now coming into the cubic solutions pool dashboard type ordelio here we can see we now have minor two and rig one so i don't have a worker name for my um, workstation in Windows, as you can see here. But in Hive OS, my worker name is showing up. I forgot to put that command in. But here we have 196 hashes or ITs per second. Two devices are connected. We still have zero souls. But that is how you mine to the Cubic Solutions pool. Hopefully, this did help you out. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.